Good afternoon to all of my YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook subscribers. This is Sea Temptation coming at you again with another informative and powerful video of Chicago Talk. First, I want to start off by saying happy, wonderful Wednesday to everyone on this beautiful day in Chicago. It's like about 83 degrees out here. Um, first, I want to begin this video by saying I want to say thank you to my total today. I found out I have a total of 621 subscribers. So I want to say thank you to every one of my subscribers. And also, I want to welcome to the new subscribers I want to welcome you all personally to Chicago Talk. I want to thank each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. You know, God bless each and every one of you. And let's continue to make this movement strong and make it solid. Okay. Today, this topic, I want to do something a little bit more interesting because I ran across an article last night and I gathered some information today, which I thought this would be very informative. Parents... Now, I understand, you know, and I've been there and done that. We all have been there and done that. This is the season for prom. You know, teens are getting ready to graduate. So for those of all the teens that's graduating this year to the class of 2017, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you because anytime when I ride down the street and I see, you know, people that's, you know, dressed up for prom or getting ready to go, you know, for graduation, I mean, I just find that so beautiful and just so amazing. I mean, just to see them dressed up and going out to prom and just celebrating, I know, their, their highlight of their high school years, their graduation time. And when I see it, I just, man, it's just, it's just beautiful. I think it's just so beautiful and so positive. But anyway, I wanted to say congratulations again to the class of 2017. Yeah, so I ran across some interesting information and I'm just giving the parents as well as the teens a full-fledged warning. And not just, this is just for the people, you know, in Chicago, this is across America, you know, just to make you aware and just trying to give you some informative information. So I ran across some information from a law firm in the Chicago area. And according to them, they said, according to a survey that was recently taken, I think last month in April, um, according to AAA, 41% of teens between the ages of 16 to 19, well, more than likely they will either drink or use drugs. Okay. Now, uh, they did pass the law in 2013, which I wasn't aware of this, though. I was kind of surprised about it, but I understand why they passed the law. Um, it's a law that's called social host law. And I found out, let's just say, for example, that the parents decide to throw a party for the teen, you know, in honor of them going to prom and graduation. Now, if they decide if that teen is under the influence of alcohol or drugs, and if they go outside and get into, like, say, an accident or, you know, somebody got hit or somebody got injured or somebody got killed, parents will be in serious trouble if they allow any underage drinking to take place at this party. Okay. And not only now this, this really shocked me when I found this out that the minors who did the actual indulged in the, in the underage drinking or, or the use of drugs, they will be charged with a class A misdemeanor and also the adults. Now this is deep here. The adults will be charged with a class four felony. So, I mean, now as far as the teens, I mean, I was there. I mean, like I said, I, I went to high school, went to prom. Trust me, I get it. I mean, you know, that type of, you know, that type of celebration, you know, you you know, like I said, when I went to school, when I went to prom, yeah, I had me a little, little drink. I had a little, you know, drink of champagne, but I didn't get drunk. But versus what's going on right now, I mean, these kids, they just go over the edge, man. I'm telling you, I mean, I see it on the news where people get, you know, these teens get into car accidents. They either be injured or they get killed, you know, and it's just not worth it. It is not worth it risking your life so if you're going to go to prom and celebrate you know that's fine you know but just don't be out there drinking and don't get caught up because you don't want to get caught up with a misdemeanor on your record and you sure you don't want to get the parents caught up with a felony on their record sweetie it's not worth it it is just not worth it i mean i understand celebrate have fun you worked hard for it. trust me i get it i've been there and done that celebrate have fun, do what you do, you know, graduate, but just do it in a safe manner. 
you know, and I'm not knocking in terms of parents having parties for the kids, but, you know, don't let them drink. I mean, if they're going to go out and operate a vehicle, please don't let them drink. Don't do it. It's just not worth it. It is not worth the risk. I mean, why, why get in trouble? It's not worth it. So I gave you the statistics, you know, so I'm just trying to give informative information to the teens and the parents, the graduating teens and parents. So, you know, I'm just saying be careful because I know this is this is the month of May and I know prom season is taking place between now and the beginning of June. So I had decided when I saw this information online, I wanted to bring it to the light and, you know, just share it with everybody in terms of just, you know, just to make you aware, you know, because this is not a joke. I mean, especially when I found out about this social host law and then they just passed this in 2013. I mean, I wasn't even aware of it, but but when I found out, I wanted to bring it to all of my subscribers, my fans, you know, for those who have parents, I mean, have children that's getting ready to graduate, you know, in high, from high school and it's going on prom, you know, wanted to bring you this information. So that's pretty much, you know, my video for today. Again, I want to thank all my 621 subscribers. I want to bless each and every one of you. Keep the movement strong, you know, and if you like this video, click like, also share subscribe, you know, cause it won't cost you anything to subscribe. You know, it won't cost you a dime to subscribe, you know, and just share, you know, because people need to be made aware about these type of topics and subjects. So this is, this is not a gossip show. I mean, this is all straight, real talk, Chicago talk style. So that's it for today. Far as for my video today, this is Sea Temptation of Chicago Talk. I want to wish everybody, I want to say peace be on to you. Namaste. And please, whatever you do today, enjoy this weather. And I want to wish everybody safe travels. And I want to bid, bid you all peace. And I want to say enjoy the rest of your day. And until the next video, take care of yourself and each other. Love y'all.